How you doing everyone? I am Unchrasmatic and I got some positive feedback from the other Ghidorah video I had so I want that gave me some encouragement and made me want to take out this particular figure so I can touch a little bit more on what I said in the other review in case you missed it. It's the Showa Ghidorah 8 inch uh, from Bandai and this particular one is the same mold but it's actually from the 1995 memorial box and that memorial box was released by Bandai about I think about like 14, 16 figures um, at the end or after Godzilla vs. Destroyer I believe or maybe it was before I can't remember exactly when but basically the memorial box commemorates uh, the death of Godzilla and the effective end of all the films that Toho had been doing uh, since 1954 and they released a whole bunch of figures of our repaints of the 8 inch line, the original 8 inch line and one of the repaints was this was the Showa Ghidorah and this is the guy obviously that's in front here and the sculpt I, I, as I mentioned in the other review has some detriments to it uh, yeah, as, as one of the comments posted in which I agree with the wings are a bit too small but it's more of um, I would I would argue it's more of a manufacturing decision rather than a design oversight. Uh, given a figure of this size, storing and transporting the figure is is going to be difficult unless all the wings are folded back, and, and the wings can fold back. Um, again, I have to apologize because I'm holding the camera with one hand, so I can't really do it as gracefully as I would like. But I'm sure. Uh, you, if, if you're interested in Ghidorah, you probably have the 6-inch version by Bandai, and, and all Ghidorah figures basically have the same mechanic, folding the wings back. So just imagine that happening, and the only instance where you would actually find the wings to be of uh, commensurate size, or of uh, appropriate size of the figure, I would say, is the Great Monster series King Ghidorah by Bandai, which is the, the larger scale King Ghidorah figure that Bandai has ever made, and um, oh, actually, I, w I would add the uh, the the uh, Super Dragon King Ghidorah figure and the Mecha King Ghidorah figure, which is one of my absolute favorites. Probably, probably my second favorite overall figure in the Bandai eight-inch line. But you know, going back to this figure, that's that's definitely one of the drawbacks of this of this sculpt is the wings. It's a little bit too small, and also as I touched on before the size is um, unfortunately always almost always underscaled compared to the rest of the 8 inch figures like like I said again for example here is the the Godzilla 1964 figure and you can just tell that that Ghidorah is woefully uh, underscaled but the one thing that I wanted to highlight about this particular figure as far as the memorial box reissues went and they were just they were just kind of repaints of uh, of the previous eight inch releases. This figure was a real disappointment because all they did was they took the plastic, or they took they they all they did it appears to be is they took the plastic from the 1991 King Ghidorah figure and they reattached the heads of the Showa version, but other than that, there, there, there's no significant addition in terms of detailing or what have you. It's all just pretty uniform color throughout, as you can see. Uh, right? There's no highlighting on the tails, nothing on the wings, uh, the body's all the same color. It, it's just generally a little bit boring. and. Let's close up on the on the heads a little bit, and you see there. I would say the main difference, aside from the color scheme between this figure and the original release, are so the eyes. Here you you see, uh, and again my camera is having some focusing issues, so I have to apologize. But here you can see that that the previous release or the original release, they were kind of uh, just black dots for the iris. But here you see there's there's a little minor paint detail you can kind of make it out that they've got the iris and then kind of uh i don't know 
I don't want to say eyeliner because that's kind of effeminate, but you know, there, there's an extra little detail in it. But still, uh, overall, the, the figure is, is kind of a big disappointment. And let's just go and take a look at it compared to the original uh, 1984 release. And you can see, you can tell which figure is just the one that's molded in a certain plastic color and which figure is one that has paint applications and some degree of care and detailing involved in it. Right, and obviously I removed the, uh, the tag with the rubber band off it so that the differences are more clear, but you know, you, you could see the, the details and, and, and shadowing here on the figure. And again, as, as I mentioned in my, my other review, the heads are just absolutely top-notch. They're fantastic. Uh, the skull, the, like, you know, you, you can almost envision Ghidorah screaming here. And, like, it kind of has that crazy-eyed look, you know. But, okay, he looks a little bit sleepy. Just, you know... That right there, it, it 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 looks like a look of of disinterest in Ghidorah, and then contrasted with this, you know, it, it's it's quite apparent. There's also, I would say, superior detailing in the mouth on the original because you know it's more it's fully painted in the inside. Uh, focusing issues again, and uh, on this, you know, the the tongue is basically the only part that's painted and the teeth uh, well the teeth may be the same shade of of of, uh, of white but you know going back and forth and just comparing side by side and, and again the wings get in the way uh, there that that's a decent shot but you know you can see what I was saying before in that there's some degree of attention and uh, quality that's in the original figure that's lacking in the Moil Box Rishi, which I thought was a real disappointment given how Ghidorah was, is my second favorite character. But, you know, it, the, let, let, let's set him aside for now. But the real interest in getting this memorial figure, well, I didn't get the figure individually, it came with the memorial box set. Um, and if you if I if you have the opportunity to get the figures from the 1995 memorial box set individually, um, and you would rather get them individually as opposed to the entire set all at once, I would recommend that you hold off on this figure until you get other ones in the set. And and there are other figures in the set that are that that do the originals more justice. For example, the Hedora figure is pretty decent, but um, I would only recommend getting this figure in the sense that you don't have this particular mold of King Ghidorah and you're a King Ghidorah fan, and the original issue is either uh, out of your preferred price or you just can't find it and you need to, and you need to get a figure uh, representing him as a temporary stopgap, but Definitely other figures of, of uh, various quality and price are available uh, regarding this particular character, so I can't give it my highest endorsement, but it is nice. It is nice that Bandai, in the theme of reissuing figures for their 1995 Memorial Box set, went with the Shoha Ghidorah as opposed to the Hisi Ghidorah, which has just been prostituted by Bandai to maximum extent. So, uh, I think next figure I'll try and review, I'll, I'll go back to the original 8-inch Bandai line and then refer back to the memorial box set as needed. So until then, I'm Uncrasomatic, and thank you for listening. And actually, I closed off that review and I actually forgot to uh, include the tag uh, that came with the memorial box and the ta and each of the tags from the Rishi figures came with some poster artwork and for the King for the Showa King Ador they show uh, Invasion of the Astro Monster or Godzilla vs. Monster Zero as the uh, poster artwork and in the back there's some blurb in Japanese but overall very colorful <laughs>